to be a, key, a beekeeper's like wet dream. Look at this. Look at all this bee food. Look at all this bee food. Look at it all. <laughs> all this pollen. Uh, you know, um, it's just a great opportunity to help the Japanese people. And the more honey we produce, the more we can give away. And, uh, you know, people can be enjoying honey, enjoying something, a luxury, something. I mean, honey is such a luxury here because of the cost. And um, it's just a shame to see all this soba this year that we lost. And they're probably going to be planting rice next year, which means a year after we'll probably have it. It doesn't matter. You know, we'll be ready for the next soba crop when they plant it. And uh, it'll be good. This is my, this is our town right here. And look, they even got some pink. You know, I've never seen pink soba. Look, it's the first pink soba. Maybe that it turns pink when it gets old. Look at that, pink. Look at that pink soba. Look at that pink. It's probably, it's probably all gonna turn pink. Who knows? But, um, it's a lot of, and this turns into a soba noodle. And if you've had soba, next time you go to a Japanese restaurant, ask for soba. Um, now, some people can be allergic to it, so be warned. But it is uh, an amazing pasta. It's kind of like, if you like a thick, chewy pasta, uh, pasta, I said pasta, pasta. I realized when I made a recording, I said pasta. Then you're going to really love this. Ohazaimasu!